Hello, Monster Banter, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires Part 7 18 of my Belagar campaign. I'm fairly sure it's part 18. I'm going to say it's part 18. Last time, we had a very stressful battle against Wurzak, who is my nemesis, and uh, we dealt with Malice as well, which is fun. So, right, what's my plan now? Well, first plan, we've got 300 rune gold. So, can we make. What is it? Oath gold? That's one. Oath gold. That's one. Yep, good. So, can we. Oh, Starbreaker. Uh, oh, we've already made that. The Flying Elves. Yeah, am I going to do that? Who knows? Maybe. Lots of people want me to fight elves, but am I going to do it? Who knows? Um, do I want the Star Metal Plate? It's quite sexy, isn't it? What's this? Horn of Ancestors. Yeah, I'm not really. I'm not super into that. We've got the Ring of Grimnir. The Angkor Chain is sort of meh, to be honest. If I'm going to be brutally honest, it's a bit meh. I mean, Liquid Fortification is quite good. It's just generally good. I know it's not like an epic item, but it's probably actually better than some of them because just because of the regeneration. Just because of the regeneration. Now, um, what do you guys have? You've got a potion of healing. Oh, could give you this. Yes, that way you have double regeneration. That sounds good. I'm going to do that. Perfect. Hero has not moved. Oh, it's Logan. Logan's run. Where are you going to run, Logan? I mean, the vampires do not seem like they're in a particularly good position here. They are getting their ass kicked. So I'm going to... I'm just going to assault you. No particular reason, to be honest. Just saw you were there. Thought I'd assault you. That's that's all the reason I'm going to give. Perfect. And we've only got one run grudge. And it's the one in... Eason, which is fucking miles away and I guess I could send my army over there to do that, but it seems like a lot of work. I could actually just recruit a general and send him over there just to raid for one turn and then wander off again, just disband him, but I don't know. It doesn't seem that vital. Like, the grudge isn't that bad. Is it going to get worse? Um, maybe it will, but at the moment it's just like a minor grudge. It's not a big deal. Yep, here comes the Reichlands. They're looking... I mean, at first, I was like, oh, maybe the vampires will take... No, they did not. Nope. Nope. The Reichlands is, once again, super duper fucking strong. Yeah, you're going to rebel, but that was to be expected. To be fair, that was to be expected. Okay, there's a little army over there. So what if we lay a little ambush? Holy shit, they've got black dragons. God, these armies are, are really, like, nasty. Just really nasty. We've got to be careful. That one wrong move could be really bad. Um, I did recruit an engineer, so we're going to pop that in this army. With old Bob. Bob. Hmm. Do I get these raiders? If I do that... That feels like a very missile-heavy army, but fuck it. <laughs> okay, we're just going to continue... He oh. Did they, did they finally deal with the Crooked Moon? They have no settlements. The Crooked Moon Mutinous Gits have no settlements. I might have arrived too late. They might have already been dealt with. Typical Carl. Waits waits until I, I'm, I'm almost done it myself. And then he rocks up to, to take all the glory. What a dick. Never mind. Uh, let's get some more cash. We got some more growth there, which is fine. Uh, right, we've got a little army... Oh, fuck, it's Wurzag again. Oh, not that guy. I hate him so much. Please stop recruiting. I don't think he can recruit... I don't think he can recruit... Um, what am I thinking? Savage Orcs. Okay, if I go here... Lay a little ambush... I mean, what do we all want, really? Master. We're just going to skedaddle over there and just make our way towards the floating village. 
I wonder if we can get Setra to... Oh, he is at war with the top knots. Perfect. He might decide to go for the top knots. We did knock out a couple of their armies, so that might be enough to um, get him to, to get in there, get stuck in. We're just going to assault the rats again. No particular reason. I've got no real sort of like desire to see them see them hurt, other than the fact that they're Skaven and I'm a dwarf. Uh, Fortress of Vorag. Yeah, we need to upgrade you. Uh, what do we need to do? Oh. Yeah, that's going to rebel. And there's nothing we can do about it, really, unfortunately. It's just going to rebel. Do you want to assault garrisons? Because you're actually pretty good at it. Yeah, I know. I know there's an imminent rebellion. There's not. I can't do anything about it because of malice. Uh, well, in fact, Malachis' strength ranking has dropped considerably. It might be that he had all of his armies tied up with malice, and having that we've just killed two of them. Holy shit! The mutinous gits are dead. Tick. Job done. Okay, so we have the rebellion down here. Uh, I am not really going to be be able to do much about that. My visions predict failure. For who? You? Because yeah, I can see that. Yes. Okay, we're still recruiting the the fire drakes down there. For clan honor. God, the vampires are just getting their head kicked in, aren't they? Undeath ascendant. Who the fuck? Oh, you're a, a Lemian vampire, that's why. Punish the grudge makers. Just assault some more. Just go around assaulting people. That works for me. No, I will not. I've got a proper grudge against you, Wurzag. Do I go and try and deal with him? Oh, there's got another army there. Now, fortunately, our borders... Expa oh, we're going to all take attrition no matter where we go. Thing is, I don't know what else is here. So I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to do this. And then in camp. I'm going to play it safe. Because I don't know... I do not know what's out there. I do not have any agents down here to keep an eye on things. So let's do that. Should we get... I mean, not... a not a runesmith. Let's get some more. Th I could. I could do with some more thanes. I've decided. I don't know what to do about this because we've got a couple. I. I can take one army on. I can't take multiples on. So like, I could skedaddle down here and see if we can get the ambush. Oh, okay, that's no, for a minute there, I thought that was another army. It's not, it's just, it's just uh, a black arc. So that's actually, for a minute there, I almost poop myself. Because if I get spotted and they just jump me from every direction, that would be, obviously, quite bad. Okay, we're going to head straight for Wurzag here because he's just got goblins. I mean, how dangerous can goblins be? Famous last words. And you are now freed up, so I guess... I guess just skedaddle down here and come and join come and join against the, the Greenskin Hordes. We need to get We need to get Bob ready ASAP because we need some assistance down here. If we're gonna push the Dark Hells back, we're gonna need more than one army. Okay, we weren't spotted. Does make me worry about where that army's disappeared off to. Marching songs is good. Do we come down here and try and grab this settlement? I was a little bit worried they might be heading in that direction, and they are. Okay, let's just auto resolve that. Okay, that smarted a little bit more than I wanted it to. Never mind. No. Okay, they can't now. This this is one of the pro now if you if you start as Imerick, one of the main issues you have is this fuck and it seems weird, but this little fucking bit here, right? Because it takes you time like if you're marching across it, it takes like a couple of turns to march across it because it's like not good it's like marshy terrain. Of course, greenskins can just and Skaven can just hop across it. They can just underway. 
And I think you can basically underway from the Fortress of Orag to pick Barca, which means if you, like, if you try and attack through the marsh, then they will usually just jump over, and then they can attack your settlement the next turn. Alternatively, you can go the long way around, at which point they can just underway across and attack you anyway. So one of the main issues for Malus and Imerick is this stupid little bit here, which just makes it a pain. Probably the best way is actually, if you were as Malus, just sail. But Imerick has a huge problem. And it's one of the reasons I think his start is such a pain in the arse in Mortal Empires. It's just a horrific place to start out. It really is. Absolute pain in the arse. Oh, it's just awful. I, I tried a campaign as Imerick and it was just a nightmare. To be fair, I tried it in, in Vortex as well and that went about ju that went just as well. Um, I had Vashnar turn up and that guy's a dick. Okay, Wurzag. This time, it's personal. Well, it's a good opening first volley, but is it going to be enough? Because there's actually quite a few. Boy, I keep getting surprised by the sheer weight, the number of they can throw at us. And uh, should I stop? I'd like, I've got a lot of missile units in my army, to be honest. I mean, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that, that's more than half my army is missile units. Maybe that's why I'm having so much fucking trouble. Because I seem to just get flanked endlessly. Maybe I need some... The thing is, longbeards are really boring. And all of the dwarf, like, melee units aren't particularly effective. So I'm like, well, I may as well just have all the guns. Now, the, the main issue here is the fact I really hate Savage Orcs. Fortunately, they haven't brought many Savage Orcs. It's mostly goblins. So this should be fairly easy. But look, on our left flank here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six units. Seven units. Versus, well, I was like, six units. That's a missile unit. Facing our one unit of Longbeards, which is, you know, not, not ideal. We've also got the Logie Bogie Spore Sploders, Snotling Pump Wagon, moving around our right flank, which is annoying as balls. I, I should have concentrated fire on it, and I didn't, and that was a massive mistake. I said my long beers are trying. They just run around it. They're just like, yeah, no, who gives a shit? Straight into the flank of my Quarrelers, and oh my god, that was so much damage. So much fucking damage. I'm going to have to move over to deal with the Warlords boys. We're now in melee combat, and that's problematic, because it means our artillery is uh, less less able to bring itself to bear. It still can. And our quarrelers are wiping out unit after unit. Basically, this comes down to, can the goblins break through our front line before our missile units can kill them all? Maybe I should get... I quite like... Should I get some slayers? Yeah, stuff like this. See, I mean, the longbeards do tend to get exploded. Um, the... the the Snotling Pump Wagons are getting exploded as well as they... Then, ah, there we go. They are running away. Perfect. After side smashing my poor Longbeards. There goes the war. Wurzag has continued to blat us with magic. I really miss not having magic. Like... I love having magic. Magic's great. It does so much... So many cool things. Oh, one of my cannons got wiped out by goblins. No, oh, no, they're killing my... No, fuck off. Get, get out of here, you dweeby little shits. Little bastards. Okay, some more goblins come back on the left flank. You see lots and lots of dead goblins. Um, the balance of power is very much in our favour. You can see they are losing... They are losing goblins at the at a rate of knots, especially thanks to our quarrelers. The quarrelers are doing fantastic work. The organ gun... I mean, 200... I mean, you know, the organ guns are racking up quite considerable... Quite considerable kills. And the quarrel is dealing with units that the organ guns can't quite finish off, like these orc boys here. These units, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't really want to waste organ gun shots on those. You want to waste them on the big blobs of uh, of goblins. The army loss is starting to take effect, and Wurzag is running away with what remains of his army. Okay, we lost a cannon. That was unfortunate. Never mind. 
Never mind. Oz Pain has got some physical resistance. Uh, what could we recruit to replace? I'm wondering about maybe getting... Yeah, let's do something like that. Okay, I can't see any threats nearby, so I'm just going to underway over here. Oh my god, they've got a rogue idol. Okay, we need to put a stop to that. Down with that sort of thing. Those shenanigans. I wonder if you'll come back. Either way, we can just like underway over to the fortress of Vorag and basically screw them over. Um, we've got defences everywhere, so we can basically use, just use our, ability, our mobility. And if they decide to intercept us, then all the better, because then we can kill them in the underway. So, uh, easy peasy. Good job. Uh, looks like, yeah, the Order Tide is well and truly in effect. Although, it, it does look like Wolfric's actually doing quite well for himself, weirdly. The Reichland is strength rank 1, Nagrond is 2, the Dwarves are 3, and the World Walkers are 5. Still, if we look at the top 10, I think you can definitely see there's a, there's a theme here. Um, down the other bottom we've got the Von Karsteins, the Clan Ferric. I don't think there's that many evil factions left, to be honest. Um, I mean, Grimgore's Art Boys are strength rank 15. It is We're strength rank 4. Fellow it is an honour. I wonder if we could eventually confederate with the with Kazakarak. That that is a potential, but it might be better to have them like as their own faction because it might actually be better for us. I'm not sure. Um, we do have the the lovely small occupied elven colony here. Uh, elves, puh. but that is going to give us a little bit more income. Although, admittedly, we only have three ports, so. I mean, it's not that good, but you know, every little helps. A little bit of, a little yes. bit of extra cash, not a bad thing. Um, we could actually like merge, I'm done ready. merge those boys, can we? And then we could replace them with. Um... Let's get rid of you. Longbeards are just there to die. Another rebellion? Didn't we just add one? Will the, will the rebellions kill each other? That's the question. Not 100% sure. Probably not, is the answer to that one. Uh, let's go with uh, more public order, maybe. Um, uh, 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 yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Trying to make a run for it? Mm, yeah, no. Some early shots finding... Finding the ball boys who are trying to flank around. Um, they get absolutely... Uh, Jesus, the organ guns do so much damage to stuff like cavalry. Absolute devastation there. They've just... Fucking hell, they're just gone. Now, I probably should have concentrated fire on the Rogue Idol. I hadn't really considered how dangerous the Rogue Idol was. Turns out, quite dangerous. Meanwhile, we're concentrating fire on the Black Orcs. You can see these Orc Biggins trying to flank around us, but we've taken up the width of the entire underway down here. So, suck a dick. Good luck flanking. So charging straight into our guns, taking horrific damage. The Ratnarok Spider's heading straight for us. And there's that rogue idol coming up behind. We're concentrating this. Oh. Uh, like just taking on, taking on the Ratnarok Spider by himself. Good stuff. The Stalling Pump Wagon is just chilling. I don't quite know what they're doing, apart from dying. Okay, we're concentrating... All the organ guns are now concentrating fire on the Rogue Idol, because it's just... It's looking quite scary, and it's got a lot of health. Meanwhile, we're actually flanking. Holy shit, look at this. That's right, dwarves. Flanking. Can you imagine? Absolute fucking madness. But it's happening. Oh, look at this. Getting some naughty flank attacks there. The Black Orcs getting hits. 
And on this flank as well, again, more flanking action going on as the Grumbling Guard take on the Black Orcs. I don't think this engagement is going to work out massively in their favour, but... Um, uh, it says losing. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. I mean, we've got the guns to help out as well, so... Uh, I think we're okay. They're just taking some pot shots at those Black Orcs there. No problem. That Rogue Idol is just soaking up so much fire. It's not very happy, but it's got 38 kills. It's just stamping on all the boys. It's just like, bring it down! Bring it down! And he's going down, finally. To be honest, that rogue idol did a lot more damage than I thought it would do. No matter. One less army to worry about. Yeah, what that does. An aggression pact. I will take that because you are very scary. So good. We're being raided. Uh, oh. oh. Hello. My axe thirsts for war. Are you... Oh, you're at war with the greenskins. Really? Okay. I mean, I am... fine with that. I do not have an issue with that. Oh. Shame. Alright. We'll, we'll try and lay a little ambush, see if we can catch them in that, because that might be quite nice. Oh, we can give you an anvil of doom. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't we? I'm not even 100% sure what that does. What does it do? Plus 15% magic resistance. I mean, I guess that's something. Okay, you are meandering around, but... You're not much of a threat, and I'm just gonna hop over here and be like, bring it more than happy to, to tangle with you. I ain't doing that. Armed and ready. Oh, did you attack us? I thought we'd intercepted you, but I think you attacked I, us. I suppose so. Oh, well. By the ancestor gods. Okay, oof. That actually, that actually stung a lot more than I thought it would. Vengeful rune lord. Okay, that's fine. Iron will. Uh, we do have global recruitment, don't we? Yes. Okay, so we'll merge all of my long beards and then recruit new ones, as is tradition. Because long beards apparently don't live very long. I mean, in, in I believe they're supposed to be the, the most long lived of, or some of the most long lived of the dwarves. But in my case, I seem to be chewing through them fairly quickly. Um, I mean,. You know, you, you could maybe say that I'm being reckless with their lives, but uh, I you, I wouldn't say that personally. I would say the that the they've lived a full and rich existence, and it just so happens that when they're in my armies, they tend to get jumped up and down on by giant stone orc effigies and shit like that. Or occasionally, I say occasionally, quite often, exploded by our own organ guns. But these things happen. Wow, that's a lot of dwarf armies. Um, and empire armies, to be fair. In general, just a lot of stuff. All raiding. Oh, God. But I, mean, I, I kind of feel sorry for... for Ma I almost, No, I almost feel sorry for Manfred, I should say. Manfred's not even there, it's Dirk. But I kind of feel sorry for him. It's just like... It's so much... Like, how many... Are you at war with all of these guys? I would imagine you probably are. So... You're not at war with the, the border princes for some reason, but there's like one, two. So there's three stacks of empire troops. There's, what's that? I'd say about five and a half stacks of dwarves. And you've got um, Darkness, a unit of skeletons and some zombies. I mean, I don't really... I, I, don't, I don't see the vampire count surviving for, for a huge amount of time. Um, I, I think they're probably gonna 
going to bow out of the campaign fairly soon would be my guess but uh, you know what I, I could be I could be surprised I don't think I'm going to be but I could be could happen oh god what's going to happen over here Make your proposal. all right how about you join my war against the top knots no. all right well yeah, worth asking if we can take Galbraz that would be good but Morkheim is my... What's this down here? Okay, Grimgore's down there. If we can take out Morkheim, does it have defences? I don't think it does. It does not. Okay, so that should be a nice, easy... If we can knock out that, then basically we've given ourselves quite a bit of breathing room from the Greenskins. Then we can concentrate on dealing with, uh, with Malice over here. Oh, we can upgrade. Perfect. That means we can knock down this garbage. Perfect. There we go. And Logan, you can have that or something good job on beating people up for no particular you're just you're just wandering around the empire just kicking the shit out of people oh hello you're having a little go are we good very spaced out formation because i do not trust those dragons Getting in the underway, so they ain't going to be flanking, which is just as well, because they've actually got quite a quite a chunk of cavalry there. We do have... Uh, we've got Roberts on this flank. Jacob on the other one. Belagar in the centre. You can see our guns already find their mark, but I'm keeping them back a little bit back away from where I normally would, so that we can concentrate fire on those dragons when they come close. Meanwhile, the giant slayers on either flank also... Because I, I saw where these dragons were, and I was like, you know what? We're going to be ready just in case. So Robert taking on the Dark Riders... Looks like the, the Dragon Breath killed mostly Dark Riders, so unfortunate for them. We've got the Sisters of Slaughter approaching our front line. No need to scream, loves. It's fine. Chill the fuck out. Okay, on the left flank, things are looking pretty well. Pretty good, actually. We've managed to, like, knock out most of the... It looks like Jacob's taking on the Sisters of Slaughter. On the right flank, we are being somewhat overwhelmed, which is why the Giant Slayer is now coming over. Also, this dragon is about to land right in the flank of our Longbeards, which is why the Giant Slayers have been like, Yep, fucking get them, lads! So, they're coming in, dealing with that. Our guns are going to move to assist this unit of the Sexy Beards, who are currently under attack by a, a mixture of Sisters of Slaughter and Black Guard. So we are concentrating fire on the flanks, taking out those uh, those heavy units. I feel like the dragon, the dragon's run away. He's had enough of dealing with the Giant Slayers. The Giant Slayers now dealing with the Cold One Dread Knights, which they should be able to do fairly well, actually. And victory is already in our grasp as we have basically annihilated most of the enemy army already. That Black Dragon getting, yep, he's, he's down. The left flank secure thanks to Slimer and Jacob, who have basically managed to kill pretty much everything on this flank by themselves. Belagar's just been dealing with everything, and he's taken down another dragon, so good job there. And with the loss of both of their dragons, and uh, their infantry line looking distinctly less bulky than it used to, the rest of the army decides to break and run, leaving us with quite a significant victory. I think that worked out quite nicely. And uh, turns out these, these black guard running in the opposite direction from all our guns, not a good idea. I would say that was a textbook. Battle. I mean, look at the number of kills they got. Barely anything. The dark. I, sh I should have dealt with the dark shards earlier. Uh, Sister Slaughter got a few kills in there, but otherwise, I mean, it was just an absolute slaughter. Well, looks like Mash has blundered into our ambush. Oh dear. Mind you, it is full of savage orcs, so. Ugh. I'm sure it'll be fine, but that'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.